Hi, it's Eliana, and today I am going to go back in time a little bit to my very first hypnosis sessions and the notes from them. With everything that's been going on and an individual backing out of their SSP testimony and recounting, saying it was all channeled. So it made me think about my own testimony and I wanted to see the, the something special that I haven't really discussed much. Why the heck was I doing different types of testing with plasma antigens replicating in the replicators in the cybernetics labs on Mars, all these different serums of plasma antigens and using a dermal injector to inject it into my skin to build up more oxygen molecules in my own body. I was doing that to acclimatize myself to the Martian atmosphere because the air is much thinner and there's less oxy oxygen on Mars than there is on Earth. So I was strengthening my body and boosting my immune system with auto-injecting myself with the plasma therapies that I was trying on myself. And I was a cybernetics technician. That's part of my SSP testimony, what I did on Mars for the 60 and back. So this is what I found in my hypnosis notes. And I found that to be interesting. Why plasma in particular? Why is it so good for boosting oxygen? Apparently plasma can be used to create more oxygen and separate oxygen from other compounds, components, and chemicals. And there's actually scientific research and data showing how plasma can be used for creating resources like better oxygenation for Mars missions in the future, for colonization of Mars. How they can work with plasma to boost oxygen levels. Also, how to protect produce different source alternatives of fuels to use plasma for agriculture, growing plants, creating sustainable living environments, so supporting life by creating more oxygenation, creating more oxygen. There's actual scientific evidence of several projects doing this on Earth, trying this out on Earth, working with plasma molecules and combining plasma with other things to see what the results are. There's more energy creation. There's more energy sustainability with plasma. And the electrons in the generator system connect with the plasma, it generates well, more plasma and more oxygen to use as resources. That's what the scientific community on Earth has found out. And they're planning to use this to further refine this technology to create oxygen using plasma on Mars for people to breathe, to grow plants, to, for agriculture, for life support and life sustainability in the future colonies on Mars. That's what the plan is. And even NASA is interested in this, several of these pro projects going forward because it actually gives them a working opportunity to utilize resources that are self-regenerating and, and self-sustaining for the long run. Plasma can be generated easily and replicated in experiments. That's been proven on Earth to actually be successful through the electron 
generator creating more plasma molecules creating oxygenation that's what i actually found when i went to do some research about this i mean i saw my own notes and what i was doing to myself on mars adding more oxygenation molecules to myself through plasma injections okay that made me better that made me feel better that quickly acclimatized me to the mars atmosphere and i wasn't feeling like i was having shortness of breath or breathing problems i felt like i had the same amount of oxygen i always did on earth except i was on mars because i injected myself with plasma which created more oxygen in my bloodstream and in my body and boosted my immune system to be stronger and to quicker acclimatize to the thinner Mars atmosphere that had less breathable oxygen. Less breathable oxygen. Yes, Mars has much less oxygen in its atmosphere than Earth does. Much less. So that's why it needs this plasma molecule process to mix with to mix in with the electrons to create more oxygenation and other things and to also sometimes separate oxygen from other compounds and to combine it with something else it works so this is a proven scientific experiment that had been done with plasma and oxygenation and that i had tried on myself on mars now earth scientists are doing it for future colonization of mars let's think about this to me that's actionable data and this is hypnosis notes from 2017 when i was still exploring my memories and i do plasma therapy every week plasma injections at first it was immunoglobulin therapy, intravenous immunoglobulin therapy, and now it's subcutaneous immunoglobulin therapy at home. I need more plasma than the average human for my immune system to work correctly on Earth because my immune system was damaged during the reptilian abductions. They toxified my blood. They poisoned it with an unknown virus that the doctors could not diagnose. I was paralyzed for four weeks when I was three years old. Four weeks. I almost died because of what the reptilians did to me, infecting me with an unknown virus that nobody could diagnose that just mysteriously attacked my body and almost killed me, where I was stuck in the hospital in a coma-like environment was I, when I was not aware of anything and I was paralyzed. So, to me, the recovery process from that has taken a long time. But it's interesting what I discovered I was doing on Mars with plasma therapy and now, now I'm replicating that in a different way here on Earth with human plasma, which is a separated um, product from blood product. Plasma is separated from the blood. It's cleaned up and it's infused into somebody else. There's plasma donors on Earth who donate their plasma for folks like me to be more healthier thanks to the generous donors. So, here on Earth, you get plasma from somebody else's blood component. On Mars, it's replicated in a replicator. You don't need a human donor to get their blood to separate the plasma. The plasma is replicated in a replicator. You don't need human donors anymore. So that technology is obviously way more advanced than what we have on Earth, but it's similar technologies and it works. I am much more healthier thanks to the plasma infusions that I do weekly, subcutaneous immunoglobulin therapy. So those experiments that I did on Mars 
even work now on Earth. Just not trying to create super amounts of oxygen. I'm actually using plasma therapy as a regenerative method to stop inflammation in my body so that my body does not attack me in my organs and does not create inflammatory processes. And this is what the plasma therapy is stopping now. So my immune system does not attack me and damage my body. And so far, so good. I've been able to get rid of white matter lesions in my brain with the plasma therapy because I had a lot of brain swelling and inflammation when my neural link implants malfunctioned, leaking nanoparticle gold into the left side of my brain. And I almost died in 2017 because of that malfunction. And those implants had to be removed with psychic surgery with the help of positive ETs doing brain mapping. They did a lot of brain mapping on what these implants looked like. The Nordics created them. They helped the human SSP planetary corp manufacture them. They're partially etheric, partially nanotechnology, nanofiber gold, and particles of that connecting to the Neuralink implants. I had four of them in my brain. I had white matter lesion scarring because of those implants malfunctioning in my brain, the left side of my brain, and it impacted my body as well. I had paralysis. My left side of the body was not functioning well with those implants in my brain. So they had to go. I don't need nanotechnology implants, Neuralink in my brain. Even that 300 something years technology that's far more advanced than Neuralink, which Elon Musk is developing, can malfunction and not work perfectly with time if it's not calibrated properly. So if the frequencies and vibrations of those implants are not calibrated, they will stop working correctly and they can do damage to the human body and the brain. Something that's 300 years more advanced than what we have currently on Earth still can stop working correctly and almost kill you. I don't need that in my body. No, thank you. My testimony is real. I'm real. And I'll continue sharing my testimony and my experiences. Thank you so much, everybody. God bless. Beautiful life. Thank you. Namaste.